sirens are so loud. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make your very own Raspberry Pi powered subscribe button. I first bought an LED screen and a Raspberry Pi because I wanted to make a New York City subway sign that I could put in my house. I wanted to take API data from the subway and give the live train schedule in my house so I could see when trains were really coming and going and I knew when I'd have to like sprint to the subway. I was working on the project, it was a little bit over my head, I couldn't get the API to work and honestly I had no idea how to connect an LED screen to a, uh, or an LED matrix rather, to a Raspberry Pi. So I decided I would start over and start on a small project and I figured I would show you guys how I did it. Now the only three things that you need for this project are a Raspberry Pi, the LED matrix screen, and a Python script. So it's pretty basic, I'll show you real quickly. The first step that you want to take is that you want to connect the LED screen to the Raspberry Pi. And if you look here, here's my Raspberry Pi in a case. And the way that you connect the LED screen right here to the Raspberry Pi is through GPI opens. Now GPI opens are general purpose input output. It sounds confusing, it's not. Basically they're the wires that give you the power, that transfer the data. What you do is you look at a GPIO map, which I'll show you right here, and it tells you what each one of the pins does on the Raspberry Pi. Then if you go to the tutorial that I went through, which I'll put in the description, it'll tell you where to put each pin on the GPIO board or whatever you call it. So right here is where the GPIO opens go. You see I have my five wires plugged in and that's basically how you connect it. The next step is we'll plug in a Raspberry Pi so you can see what it looks like. And when I plug it in, you'll see that the sign will hopefully light up. Perfect. Okay, so at least we know that the power pin and you know the power on the GPIO pin is plugged in properly. All we're gonna have to do now is you'll follow through the tutorial and I'll tell you that you need to install things like Python and you need to also install an LED library so the screen is able to like interpret your code on the Raspberry Pi. So really the second step and almost the final step is that you want to find the sample Python code that's in the walkthrough and run it to make sure that all the pins are connected correctly. So I actually have my MacBook Pro right here. I've already connected to the Raspberry Pi to my Wi-Fi, so I'm communicating with it over SSH. The original Python script is going to look a little bit like this. So you can see it says Raspberry Pi Mac 7219. Mac 7219 is basically just the LED library that is on my Raspberry Pi. Idris, I have no idea what that is, but they're just showing you an example of if you have text that stops on the LED screen, what that would look like. So what I did, I basically just took it a very, very simple step further. I opened the Python script, I went in and I just changed what the sign was saying. It's very basic, right? And so now it's exactly what we want. It's a subscribe button. It's telling us that we want to subscribe now and then bam, my name, Brian. You can have it say whatever you want. You can also make the text smaller so that it, it could say more on like one of the blocks or I should say, more on the entire LED screen. That's basically it. That's how you do a really basic setup of getting an LED screen together for your Raspberry Pi. But what I'd really like to do to take it a step further is I'd love to attach this LED screen to my Raspberry Pi Magic Mirror. If you don't know what the Magic Mirror is, I'll link it up in the card. It's another awesome Raspberry Pi project that's really easy and it looks so cool in your house. But if you guys like these Raspberry Pi projects and you want to see more of them, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, tap like, and ring the bell. I will see you guys tomorrow.